When you take your measurements, make sure that you have the undergarments on that you plan to wear under the shirt. The first measurement we want to take is the upper bust measurement. The back of our tape measure will be in the same spot that will be when we take our chest measurement. Next, we'll do the chest measurement. Remember that back spot where the tape measure is should be at the same back spot when you took your upper bust measurement. Then we're going to do our waist measurement. That's going to be the smallest point in your torso. Then we're going to take our hip measurement. This should be the widest spot. It should go around your bum. And last but not least, let's measure how long we want our shirt to be. Because all of our torsos are unique. Let's just get that measurement. And now we're moving on. What you're gonna wanna do?
match up with this. And then when you get to the twist, you just gotta untwist it to get to that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the sewing machine of the scissors, but you could use a cover stitch if you have a cover stitch machine. And we're just going to top stitch each seam allowance down. So we'll run stitching from here all the way up. And as we sew, we'll be able to untwist this. And we'll stop here. Or you can sew from here before you stay hard. It doesn't matter. And then we'll sew from here all the way down. That keeps our back nice and open. You can use a straight stitch. Although you may experience popping if you stretch it. I'm going to do the zigzag stitch up and down. Then we'll pop. You can use a chain stitch on a cover stitch machine. It looks like a straight stitch from the right side. And then on the back side, it'll have loops. And that allows it to stretch. So those are your choices. You can do a straight stitch and just pop in your stitches. You can do a zigzag stitch and that allows for stretch. Or you can use a cover stitch machine and do a chain stitch. So let's go to the display machine and top stitch the seam open. Okay, so we're at the sewing machine and we're going to sew the back seam open. And my machine is set to a zigzag stitch. You could use a straight stitch, um, but then you run the risk of your threads popping um, if your shirt gets stretched for whatever reason. So I'm just going to stitch along this edge and I'm going to try to capture the edge in my zigzag. That's the best. I'm not usually very good at it though. So. Next, we're going to attach our sleeve. So, the first thing we're going to do is open our shirt up and bring it eight sides up. Now, your seam should face the back. Okay, so that's our shoulder seam. And I'm going to find the center of our sleeve cap by folding it in half. Wherever the middle is, that's where your mark will be. And you can either put a pin in it, clip it with your scissors, or put a clip in it. When I cut mine out, I marked it. I clipped it, remember, at the beginning? But I'm showing you how to do it here, just in case you missed it. Just gonna line the shoulder seam up to the bark, and then clip it in place. And this corner, and this corner, get matched up here, and here. And then you just sew it. This is part of our sewing. So let's go over to the sewing machine. We're going to sew the sleeves on using a quarter inch seam allowance and a stretch stitch, either made on your sewing machine or you can use a serger. Okay, I'm going to sew the sleeves on. I like my shirt up against the machine and I like the sleeves facing me when I sew. Okay, so now that the sleeves are sewn on, what we will do is clip our threads and sew our side seams. We do that, well, we sew our side seams by folding our shirt with the front and back right sides together, and then the sleeves will get folded also. 